boy is spicy! in my universal world of peeps. How you doing out there? It's a cold autumn day and because it's cold I'm what I thought I need something to help warm us up. And what's the best thing to warm you up? A bit of chili. Look at here at these. So in order to make our chili and what we're making is we're making a pineapple and mango scotch bonnet chili. Oh my god, it's gonna be good. But let me tell you what you need. You need 10 of these beautiful scotch bonnet chilies. Now, as you can see here, I got way more than 10. But that's because a friend of mine, they grew this. These are locally grown. Grown in Sussex. Sussex, England. Yes. I'm doing it for the English folks today. We're making us some chili sauce. So we've got our bonnet chili. We've got some salt. Fresh ginger. Water. White vinegar. A bit of honey. And you can see it's crystallized, but hey, it's still good. It's honey. Lime juice. Some cumin. Mango. Some fresh. This is to go with the limes. And the star of the show, apart from that, a pineapple, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to cut the peel from our pineapple. So, just cut it down like this. You're going to get yourself a pan. Let's turn that on. Okay, get it nice and hot because we are now going to sear our pineapple. So we're literally just going to throw it in. We just want to kind of char it. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of my Cajun seasoning, Mama's Soul Seasoning. We are looking for our pineapple to be lovely and charged. Okay, guys, stop what you're doing. Take a chilly moment and subscribe. Become a patron. We need you. Come on, join the mama family. Hit that notification button today. Thank you. That's what you want. You want your pineapple to be lovely and charred. Oh, that looks so good. And while that's happening, we're now going to, as you can notice, I put a glove on, and actually I need to put two gloves on, because I'm now going to be playing with my chilies. And as these are some of the hottest chilies out there, I really, really, really don't need, so I'm just taking the stem, I'm just trying to pinch it and get the majority of those seeds and the stems out. Because as we all know, them seeds is what burns your mouth. So, I have just now, as you've seen, seared off my pineapple. Don't that look good? So now, it's really, this is, I'm going to show you how easy this video is. Because all it is now is about throwing it all into the mixer, and then we're going to cook it up. So, let's get our lid off. I'm going to move this down. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up this pineapple just to make it a little bit easier for the blending process. And we're going to chop, we're going to throw our pineapple into our blender. So, here we go. Pineapple in. Next, I'm hoping I have taken most of those seeds out because if I haven't, holy moly, going to be hot. But let's just put our chili peppers in. Oh my God, this is going to blow the roof. Okay, next, touch of salt. Gonna add 
some cumin seeds. We're now going to add, and I'm telling you right now, I'm going to have to taste it because I don't know which is which. Let's see. Which is water and which is vinegar? Do y'all dare me to sip it and try it? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Ha ha, got the water. <laughs> so let's just throw our water in. And then we're going to throw our vinegar in. We're now going to add some lime juice. Here's some lime juice. And I want to put some fresh, that was just kind of like a store, store bought one. But I'm going to put some fresh lime juice in this as well. And, and the pulp of the lime. We're going to put some honey. Okay guys, I just want you to know, um, we've got someone different, someone new on our camera today. This is our camera person. My technician. Karis, bring yourself around here. I'm sorry. You got to put your face in. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Say hi to Karis. I fooled y'all. <laughs> Say hi to Karis because she's going to be behind the um, camera because guess what? Katrina's in bed sick. But we know this. So it don't matter. We got all of our bases covered. Back to the camera, girl. Back to the camera. Back to the camera. I'm going to say there's one major thing. I did say this was a pineapple and mango. Guess what's missing? The mango. But it's here. Okay. So, I am now going to cut my mango. Let's just clear my board a little bit with all these seeds. Okay. You see what I do? Cut it long ways. Straight down. Then you want to take it, you want to crisscross it, it like that. Then you're going to take, flip it, and you're going to turn it inside out. Quick and easy. Now we can cut our mango off. I think I am all ready to blend this up. Look at this. So let's get this on. Let's put the lid. And let's get ready for some noise. Oh yeah. I am so tempted to stick my finger in, but I won't. Not yet. Okay, let me see here. I hope this thing ain't too, 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 too juice. Let's see. But we have, now the next stage is we have to cook it. I just put a little tiny bit on it. Get ready, Brighton. Mama's about to blow your heads off. <laughs> we are now going to pour our chili mixture into a pan. And we're going to let that cook. It needs to kind of cook off for about 10 minutes. While that's cooking, because I'm telling you, that is going to be some powerful fumes coming up out of here. We're going to leave the kitchen and we're going to come back in about eight minutes time to see how we get on. I might have to add a little bit of corn flour to thicken it, but the cooking process may do that by itself. Mama don't know because mama ain't never made this before because y'all know me. I go to bed, I make a dream, then I research and then I get up and I just do it because that's what I want y'all to do it. Just do it. Experiment with your food. Oh yeah. It's good. Um, I've had this cooking for about, I'd say, 15 minutes. I did an extra five because I wasn't sure if it was going to thicken up. But guess what? It's thickened up beautifully. So, hmm, the next stage is to slowly put it into a jar. Well, I can't believe 
I only spilled a teaspoon. And then we're just going to allow this to cool. And there you go. Mamas, let's see if I can lift it. Mango and pineapple scotch bunny chili sauce. Lovely, jubbly for your tubbly, your tummy. <laughs> so, guys, with a bit of peace, a whole lot of loving soul from the mama.